the UAAP Season 82 basketball has begun. And as the plot thickens, not only in the UAAP but also in the NCAA, MPBL, and PBL, we get to take a breather and experience the fun side at the sidelines here on Upfront. Welcome to the show, mga kapamilya. Ako po si Angelique Manto. At ako si Martin Avier, and we are here right now inside the SM MOA Arena, as you can see behind us. And... Home. Home of the UAAP. Correct, right? <laughs> because we watch the UAP games yes. here. We're always here. Pero ngayon, nandito tayo ngayon sa SMOA Arena Premier Suites where it's so posh. It's my first time here, It's my first time too. Really? It was super oh. an experience. That's right. But also joining us here as our guest co-host, we have two SNA rookies na madalas din dito sa MOA Arena because of the UAP games. So let's give a big upfront welcome to two of the new UAP courtside reporters, Raid Matienzo and Bailey Sakot. Hello! Hello. Hello. Hey, welcome hey, to upfront. Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Yeah. So, up front. So, Rain here is a courtside reporter for Adamson University and Bailey's is a courtside reporter for National University. Yes. Pero kayo ba? Kamusta ba yung experience nyo na you get to know more about the teams and you get to talk to the players and coaches? Well, for me, it's been nothing short of amazing. You know, the experience just been surreal and being the connection for between the fans and the players and just yung mga nakikita mo lati sa TV lang, the yeah, basketball true. superstars, they're all just so humble. And, you know, the Bahrain. Oh, actually, what I love most about being a courtside reporter is interacting with the fans, being loved by the community. That's the best part about it. And, of course, yung mga one-point games yeah. na sobra. Yeah. Oh, so <laughs> I'm gonna ask you guys, are you ready for the upfront hosting challenge? Yes! Let's excited! Let's go! You're ready? Okay, <laughs> let's go. Let's kick off the show. Let's turn you over to Bailey's and Rain. All right, so now it is time for a fun bag grade with the FEU team captain, Ken Tuffin. Find out what he keeps in his bag to remember his squad back in New Zealand and also other stuff that he keeps for himself. Now on his fourth playing year with the Tamar House, team captain Kenneth Tuffin has always been Coach Olsen Rosella's go-to defensive guy. With FEU gaining momentum in the tournament, we can expect more from the 6'4 Filipino Kiwi swingman as the rest of the UAP Season 82 unfolds. But for now, let's get to know Captain KT in this edition of What's in My Bag. Hi guys, I'm Kenneth Tuffin, team captain of the FEU Tamaraz, and today I'm going to show you what's inside my bag. First item inside my bag would be my school book here. So my course in FEU is Sports and Recreation Management. Um, it was a course that was given to me and it's definitely the most appealing to me in terms of what I want to do in the future and hopefully the course helps me achieve that. It's very um, like productive, very hands-on in terms of um, coaching and understanding certain things. So that's what I definitely want to look to do in the future. I would definitely like to be a coach or a teacher. Um, just in any, any way or form I can give back to the community that's helped me get here so far. So that's definitely what I, why I chose this course. My playing shoes. Oh, I mean, so th these are what I use for my playing, uh, for games. Color is definitely in, in tune with the FEU colors, with the yellow. So I think it's a really good fit for our uniform. Um, very comfortable. These are very comfortable shoes. Um, again, I like the color because it suits our uniform, whether we wear green or yellow. So after training, I would uh, have a shower. So this is my shower bag. Um, this was actually the same shower bag my dad used when he was in uh, high school. So he kind of gave this down to me, so it's a pretty big uh, deal. So it's like a hand-me-down. Yeah, I got a few things in here. Shampoo and conditioner, um, facial and body wash. This would be the towel. So this is like, like a sweat towel also. Uh, we got given this in our invitational tournament in Taiwan. So this is what I use to, obviously when I'm done with showering, uh, wipe my body with this. And also, it could be used as a sweat towel also. So this is a really handy thing to have in your bag. I guess after showering, I have some body spray and cologne, just for a bit of scent, or just to smell nice afterwards. For school, my school ID. No worries, yeah, so there's an old photo, um, don't worry about that. Um, so yeah, I always have to wear this when I go to school, so my school ID is very important, can't go into school without it, so always got to make sure I have this with me. 
The last thing would be um, my necklace. So once I'm finished uh, dressing, showering and stuff, I'd put my necklace on with my clothes. So this necklace, um, me and my two best friends back home in New Zealand, we, we all have this. Um, so they play basketball in the States, or they used to play basketball in the States. So after, after high school, we went our separate ways. We thought that this was a really cool idea to, uh, to, like, to be together as one. So we always have this. Three of us have this and it has initials on the back. Um, my life before obviously was very different. Um, basketball was not my first sport, or the most popular sport in New Zealand was rugby. So I played rugby growing up, I played cricket, I also did track and field before I started playing basketball. So my, my background is a, lot, is a little different. So in, in Wellington, New Zealand, where I'm from, there was a Filipino camp for basketball players and um, I, I heard that FEU was um, invited to, to be there. So I turned up to the camp and um, not everyone thought I was Filipino. I think I was very athletic at that age compared to most of the other guys. So they saw that I had a bit of potential and then, yeah, I'm thankful they took a chance on me and here I am. Okay, so here I also have um, a jacket. So when it rains, um, you gotta be prepared out here in the Philippines, especially in rainy season. So when it rains, you gotta have one of these to be, to be ready. So that's my jacket. I also have my training uniform, so my FEU jersey. Uh, my idol was Manu Ginobili when he was uh, playing basketball for the San Antonio Spurs. So these are my shorts. Um, obviously it goes with the jersey because you can't have the jersey without the shorts. I think that's just kind of the trend that everyone has these days. I mean, you saw it with UP. They have very short shorts. Um, I think it's just the way that the shorts are these days and certain preferences of the players. So last, after everything, I would just check my phone um, in terms of notifications and connecting with my family through social media and stuff. So after everything, my shower, putting my clothes on, after training and stuff, I'll use my phone to, to check what's up. Um, I'm pretty big on Snapchat or Instagram, or oh, Messenger, definitely, in terms of talking to my family because we have a group chat. Yeah, so I, I have Spotify. I, I listen to Spotify. I have a few playlists on there. Go check them out if you can search my name. <laughs> and um, They're not that good. It's just a personal preference, but hopefully you guys like it. So this was everything that was inside my bag for today. Um, hopefully the FEU guys, the FEU community continue to support us in our upcoming games. Um, God bless and see you guys soon.